is the crypto altcoin season just a myth? In today's video, we're going to be jumping into some data. We're going to be taking a look at the charts and I'm going to be breaking down whether or not an altcoin season is something to be expected or simply one of those mythical beasts that we just never see again. Let's roll the intro and get right down into it. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video update. And today we are going to be talking altcoins and specifically about the altcoin season. This is something that everyone in the crypto space has heard of and is expecting to see time and time again. But did you know that the altcoin season isn't something that's actually happened all that often? In fact, we've only really seen one in all of crypto's history. And I'm going to break down what that looked like and why we might not see such a thing happen ever again. Let's go down into the charts, right? So we're going to start things off here, guys. This is a Bitcoin uh, on our blue line. Uh, we have our orange line, that is the Ethereum. Uh, we have our yellow line, that is Litecoin. And then we have XRP down at the bottom here. Now, I'm using these four cryptocurrencies because these are the four cryptocurrencies that were really around during that um, first kind of alt season, right? There are a few others we could probably put in, Stellar Lumens, etc. cetera, um, but there weren't that many, okay? And I want to focus in on just a handful so it's really clear and you can see what happened. If we had loads of lines on the chart, it becomes a little bit cluttered, but you can add as many of those uh, onto the charts as you kind of see fit. Let's jump back down into this, right? So our blue line is our Bitcoin leader. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some uh, lines on the chart here and we're going to show you where things peaked out. Okay, so we can see here that Bitcoin peaked right at the top here. Okay, now during this peak uh, of December 2017, we can see and we can note that actually there's a few movements here outside of just Bitcoin. Now, not all altcoins are the same. We did see here that Litecoin actually had a very good run to the upside, okay, and topped out with Bitcoin here. But we can see that Ethereum continued to run afterwards and actually had its peak a little bit later, just over here. And again, I'll drop on a, another horizontal line right there for the Ethereum price peaking. But you can also note that XRP had a price peak just before Ethereum did as well. And you can have that one right there. So here on this chart, there are four cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP. And there are in fact three different peaks, right? And this essentially is the altcoin market. This is the altcoin season that a lot of people were talking about. Again, we actually saw a couple of these occur, right? okay? There's, uh, there's lots of talk and lots of discussion about, um, you know, altcoin a mini altcoin season and then bitcoin runs again and then there's another altcoin season afterwards and really what they're referring to here is how that during this dip to the downside some of these altcoins actually got some traction to the upside not many of them but there's a little bit there and so some people talk about how there was two or there were two alt seasons in this 2017 bull market but you know for now we're just going to focus in on the one altcoin season that occurred and we can see right in here how these things did not uh, happen all at the same time right we didn't see everything peaking out all at once and that is why people were talking about altcoin season and specifically talking about money rolling out of the bitcoin price okay roll it, rolling out of bitcoin and going into altcoins and it is the money rolling out of bitcoin going into those altcoins that allows you to see these significant surges to the upside bitcoin goes down and whilst bitcoin is dipping down we see other altcoins rallying up money is rolling out of bitcoin into other altcoins right and so that is the altcoin season. And if we actually reflect on things since 2017, what have we seen? Well, we've seen an explosion of more altcoins in the crypto space. All right, let's jump back down to our charts and start taking a look at what was going on here. We can see that, you know, we actually had, you know, a bit of a move to the downside across the, the, the I guess, all the cryptocurrencies. And you can see that there's a pretty typical kind of bottom right in here. Uh, if I actually grab the correct tool right here, let me put that in there. Bitcoin kind of bottoming out in December of 2018. You can see here that Ethereum kind of bottomed out in December of 2017, as did Litecoin. So although the peaks were off, 
the bottoms were all coinciding, right? You can also see that XRP had a local bottom here, but it didn't hold. And we actually went down lower than this at a later stage. I'll put a horizontal line in here and you can see that we were riding it and we went down into even deeper lows. You can argue, I don't know if that actually did cross, not quite actually there, not quite there, and everything else stayed above. So in our selection of altcoins here, we can see that Although there was a local bottom or bear market bottom for Bitcoin, for Ethereum and for Litecoin, XRP, on the other hand, continued to go down deeper into March 2020 lows. Since then, we actually had some pretty significant growth into 2021, which we can now take a look at on our charts. So into 2021, we obviously saw a fair few things going on. We can also draw a line in where we started to peak on Bitcoin's price. I believe it was uh, April 2021, uh, right in here. You can see that Bitcoin kind of traded, uh, actually it's more of May, I'm going to put it over here. You can see May and then we saw a dip in all of these assets all at the same time. There wasn't an altcoin season as Bitcoin uh, kind of moved down. We saw Ethereum moving down, Litecoin moving down, and XRP moving down, all coinciding at the same time. Okay, there was a little bit of sideways trading activity uh, just beforehand, so we can draw a line in here, and we can say that some money may have rolled out of Bitcoin during this sideways trade and rolled into Ethereum, into Litecoin, and into XRP during that stage, but it isn't consistent to say that Bitcoin's price dropped down significantly. This just meant that Bitcoin kind of reached 65K and kind of stalled out, yet we saw Ethereum Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP continue to run because their values were significantly lower at the time. Now, if we kind of take a look at the all-time high, well, that is happening just over here at $69,000. Let me go ahead and draw another line in right here. And you can see, yet again, Bitcoin's price action tops out during the bear, uh, the bull market here. And we can see that so did Ethereum's price, so did Litecoin's price, and of course, so did uh, XRP's price. And that is pretty consistent as well with what we saw on the peak over here as well, even though that there were some fundamental reasons, you know, in the real world uh, outside of kind of just charts as to why we saw these corrections. Um, but everything here was correcting down at the same time. So we all talk about and we all kind of expect, you know, in crypto Twitter and various other kind of social media circles that altcoin season, oh, oh we're going to see an altcoin season, we're going to see an altcoin season. Yeah, the reality of the situation is that actually we've only ever seen one really uh, in terms of money rolling out of Bitcoin into the altcoins. We haven't really had that repeat itself, yet everyone is expecting history to repeat itself. It's kind of really interesting to kind of actually get a kind of take a step back and actually look at the landscape and say, why are we all expecting something that's only ever happened once before in reality? Uh, and it is quite interesting. Don't get me wrong. There are some exceptions to this, right? You do find the occasional altcoin does go on a run and does peak up higher after Bitcoin has, has kind of peaked. But it's not a true altcoin season if your majority of the altcoins aren't going up and setting new all-time highs after Bitcoin's all-time high. If everything is coinciding together, you're not really seeing an altcoin season as such. Okay, so an altcoin season has to be very separate from that of BTC, at least in the sense that we have been talking about these seasons of the altcoin season in historical terms. Historically, Bitcoin tops out, then altcoins go up into all-time highs. Instead, what we saw in 2021 was Bitcoin reached an all-time high, and so did altcoins. There's the occasional exception, but they do not make the rule. So our charts are very interesting. We all talk about and we all kind of expect altcoin seasons, yet the data suggests they never actually occur the way that everyone kind of thinks that they do. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other things that a lot of people are referencing, Bitcoin dominance being one of them. Bitcoin dominance essentially shows you how dominant Bitcoin is on the market, but it only uses the market cap. Okay, and we understand that the market cap is an idea of value without showing value. And that sounds really bonkers, it sounds really backwards, but essentially the market cap is only a basic calculation. It takes price and it multiplies it by supply, right? Which means that there's not actually value there. It's not liquidity. It's nothing other than supply multiplied by price, which means the price in itself is dictating 
the market cap and therefore the price is trying to um, basically show you how dominant it is on, on the market without actually showing you the underlying supply demand elements. It can be a little bit confusing. But what I do want to tell you guys is that market cap can be very misleading because it kind of gives you the idea that there's trillions of dollars in crypto when actually there's a fraction of that. It's all about supply demand. You can take a look at deeper into the diamond market if you really truly want to understand supply demand in a lot more detail. There's, and there's a lot of manipulation when it comes to the diamond market. So let's jump back down into the Bitcoin dominance, right? If we take a look at this, Historically, right, we can see that Bitcoin was pretty much the only cryptocurrency. Therefore, it had the majority of the dominance or the majority of the market from a market cap point of view. As altcoins started to come into existence, we can see that do dominance of Bitcoin dropped down quite significantly. We can see here that uh, basically up into the peak of our 2017 bull market, you can see here that altcoins started to come up into existence. Bitcoin still had its little bull market to the upside. 20k and we started to see altcoins run afterwards and that is why the dominance of bitcoin drops down like this okay this after the peak here okay so we can see that bitcoin peaked in 2000 uh, december 2017 you can see that by the january the first bitcoin's dominance was down here and then by this time all the money is then coming out of the altcoins and you know it's not going back into bitcoin it's just leaving the space generally and so bitcoin starts to get more dominant on the market, bringing it back up. Okay, so Bitcoin dominance shows you whether there's going to be an alt season or not. At least it shows you historical altcoin seasons here by seeing the drops of significance within the Bitcoin dominance chart. Again, we don't have to look up the Bitcoin dominance overall because we can, of course, just draw on the charts all of the different cryptocurrencies and see the uh, relationship between time and price. And you, know, you can kind of see where money is flowing. Now, Bitcoin dominance at the moment moment as you can kind of see in 2021 altcoins really did run alongside bitcoin bitcoin lost dominance up to may and you can see this sideways ranging market since uh, the end of 2022 though bitcoin starts to get more dominance on the market not because altcoins aren't moving just because of the bitcoin spot etf specifically in 2023 and 2024 but even now you can see that the dominance is about 53.6 and you know during 2021's peak bitcoin dominance was 47 percent this is actually quite alarming it shows that actually there's a lot more focus on bitcoin than there is on the altcoins specifically if this is a bullish market that so many people are claiming i would expect bitcoin to be significantly lower in terms of its dominance dominance on the market than it currently sits. But this is only an indication as to something that we were talking about yesterday when it comes to total three. Total three shows us that the total market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, actually hasn't moved all that much. You can see it right about here. And as we were talking about this yesterday, it was 70% from its all-time high. Bitcoin double taps its all-time high, but the altcoins here aren't anywhere near its all previous all-time high from a market cap point of view. This is an indication that actually altcoins haven't really had any significant um, any significant moves or hasn't had any kind of significant focus on it just yet. And that brings me back to that question. Altcoin season, are we going to see one or are we not going to see one? And I'm a believer in saying no. I do not believe that we are likely to see an altcoin season. But let me kind of explain why. Okay, not only do we have have we only ever seen an altcoin season once before, we also have to understand the differences of where we are now versus where we were back in 2017. If history were to repeat itself, then we're going to have to see a significant shift of money from Bitcoin into the altcoins. And I know, I know, that's what we're expecting, right? We're expecting money to roll out of Bitcoin and go into those altcoins. But there's a big problem, the Bitcoin spot ETF. The Bitcoin spot ETF is the main driver for Bitcoin. It has soaked up a significant amount of BTC supply, which I think was actually hovering around 4% of the total circulating supply at the moment. Bitcoin spot ETFs are crazy. And that money is not crypto money. That's stock market money. That money isn't going to come out of Bitcoin spot ETFs and go into your favorite altcoins. It just simply isn't going to happen. If it were, they would never have actually invested in the Bitcoin spot ETF. Those investors would have invested in Bitcoin directly via Coinbase, Binance, Gate.io, KuCoin, BitGet, you name it. They would have chosen another exchange, probably Coinbase to be fair. 
they aren't. They are not interested in the crypto world. They were interested in the stock market world and they were interested in the Bitcoin spot ETF. So that money that's gone into the Bitcoin spot ETF is unfortunately not likely, in my opinion, to flow into altcoins, which then means we are highly unlikely to see an altcoin season. So what does that mean for the crypto space? Well, it means that if we want to see those altcoins really popping to the upside, then we're going to need to see an increase in demand. That demand is going to come from many different facets. We're going to mainly kind of focus, I guess, on the mainstream media. Now Bitcoin's kind of double topping its previous all-time high. It is getting more media attention, but we need to obviously focus more on altcoins. And I think when the Ethereum spot ETF goes live and gets approval, I should say, and goes live, that is really when I think altcoins are going to start to be spoken about more wide uh, spread across uh, mainstream media. And we're going to get more eyeballs on crypto. And because some of those altcoins that are out there that are well known, such as XRP, Stellar Lumens, Algorand, maybe Cardano, um, these particular altcoins that actually have real world use case uh, and could actually be you know, spoken about on mainstream media as alternatives to the ETF situation, we might find ourselves with new inflows of demand into the crypto industry, into the crypto space outside of the stock market plays. So I think for the most part, is a you know alt season highly likely? No. Is it actually at this point something that we can call mythical? I yes, because we haven't really seen altcoin seasons, not in the same way that we had done once before in 2017. I think for the most part, it's a very interesting time that we find ourselves in. Bitcoin spot ETF is great. It's brought a lot of additional inflows for BTC. But like I said, what goes into the stock market does eventually come out, but it never kind of flows back into a different sector. I would expect that though Bitcoin spot ETF investors are going to take profits in due course, that profit is likely to just be sat on the sidelines waiting to reinvest into other stock market plays, whether that is going to be Apple, uh, Amazon, um, you know, Microsoft, or potentially back into Bitcoin spot ETFs or Ethereum based spot ETFs. There's going to be a lot of interesting developments over the next kind of couple of years or so. Um, but one of the things that I'm pretty confident on right now is that crypto is in very early stages of some really big moves. Even if we don't have altcoin seasons that we all kind of know and kind of want to see, you know, money rolling out of Bitcoin into altcoins, I do still think that a altcoin market is going to boom, and we're going to see a real good significant growth on the long term. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments down below. And why don't you check out this video here where I'm talking about the altcoin market in a little bit more detail from total, total two and total three point of view.